Ladies, thank you so much for coming today. I think we're going to have an amazing, amazing discussion here on women and wine. Now, I know each of you have brought a very special memento for very special reasons. So why don't we start and go through each of your items and tell me why you brought that and what it means to you. I brought two things with me today. First is my copy. It's really the what's inside of my book that I've been carrying around since the book came out. And I'm so proud because it's been signed by some of the top women in the wine industry. And I also brought a bottle of wine because Carol Shelton is one of the top winemakers that pioneered the Sonoma uh, County and it wasn't Carol who called me it was actually Carol's husband who said why don't more people know about my wife she is such an amazing winemaker she's won awards over the top for 15 years so I'm really proud um, to thank the men out there as well for so much support for their women I brought one of the wines that I poured at my wedding Trace Picos it's a Spanish wine my husband and I picked Spanish and Italian wines to pour because we want to represent our heritage, uh, make the wedding more personal to us. And this is one that we had at the wine bar before, and then Wine Spectre gave it top 100 ranking that year, and it sells for only $12, so it was something that we were able to serve to a large number of guests and keep the price reasonable, which is really tough to do when you're having a wedding. Champagne is my absolute favorite wine producing region in the world. I think that if I had to drink one wine for the rest of my life, I would definitely Champagne. So this is one of my favorite books to read. The reason it's one of my favorite books about champagne is because it tells a story about champagne. It's a love letter from this husband and wife that explored and interviewed people in champagne and it talks about history. Um, the irony of the book is the fact that so much bloodshed during the war uh, was shed in that vineyard but it's a wine that's used for celebration, for friendships, for weddings. The wine that I brought today is from the Constantia region of South Africa which is I consider to be one of the top class wine regions in the world. But the wine itself is interesting because the Van de Constance, a dessert wine, was popular in the 17th, 18th, 19th century among many authors and political figures. It fell out of production and it's just recently come back into production and I just think there's a great story behind it and there's a lot of history and a lot of sort of promise in the South African wine business so it has a personal connection to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah.